Hey guys, what is up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel and today I am back with another video for you guys. This one, I'm going to be doing a tutorial type video on a map called TR Walkway and basically this tutorial in general is going to be about how to rocket jump as the pyro. So it may sound a bit weird at first but let me talk you through it. Basically what you'll be using is the Pyro's Compressor Blast to manipulate rockets that soldiers shoot at you to use that to rocket jump towards them. It does take a lot of practice and a quick disclaimer before I show you me failing at it. I am not the best at this, I can hardly do it. Um, it does take a lot of practice and I do want to get better at it. But I'm going to be showing you how to do it today. So I'll have two different video clips for you guys. Uh, this one is going to be on TR Walkway and then the next video clip is going to be on... Um, a jump map for Pyro, which is specialising in using rockets to rocket jump. But first off, you want to download TR Walkway, I'll leave the link in the description bar, and you'll spawn in a room uh, just like this, so you'll spawn here. So you just want to walk forward and you'll be entering the control room, and this is where you control all the bots that spawn. So you want to run over here and uh, hit the soldier one, because you can see the rocket launcher, just hit that, the light will uh, start glowing and then it will start spawning um, blue, well, soldiers basically. Now you want to go over here, I believe it is. Nope, wait. Um, I should have really thought this through beforehand. But um, you can. Hold on, it's over here. <laughs> there is a lot of controls in this room, so you may want to look through it just to have a look. But um, you want to go over here and bots don't attack, switch that to bots attack constantly. And you'll start hearing them shooting rockets. Uh, and you just need to change one more thing. Um, well, two actually. You need to change the speed down to soldier speed. And there is also a way of making them shoot downwards. If you just like look at them, it'll tell you what, what it does, basically. But that's panic mode, invisible walls, default gravity. That's soldier's speed. Okay, bots attack constantly. Uh, where did it go? There we go. Uh, it's this little pyro mask with this. You know, the pictures aren't exactly the best. Like this and that. I didn't know what this is. Do not hit this. This is so annoying. It just starts making them shout random things. But uh, you're going to switch this to bots aim downwards. And then you're ready to start practicing. You'll be in this sort of room with a lot of things. And all you want to do is when the soldier shoots rockets at you, you just sort of want to shoot it backwards. If you've seen my rocket jumping tutorial video, uh, it's sort of like that. You want to sort of make sure that you air blast the rocket behind you so that you can rocket jump forward. I think you can also sort of do it where you go the other way if you want to try escape from a soldier. But um, that's pretty much all you have to do. It does take a lot of practice. Uh, this map's also great just practicing air blasting as well. But look at that, that was a nice rocket jump. You can get behind the enemies and just kill them from there. I mean, obviously on this map it sort of is easier because you sort of know when they're going to attack. But you can sort of guess when, like, people in actual service are going to attack. And this can really throw off your enemy. Like, if you were this soldier, or this one, and you're just trying to shoot rockets to kill me, and I just rocket jump up onto this platform, then they're not going to know what's going on. And, um, it really is useful. Just a nice little tip to, uh, use quite frequently. And you can also practice in air blasting on this if you really want to. I find it just reflecting rockets on this incredibly fun just killing everything <laughs> but yeah just uh, play around on this map for a while just practice as you can see just mainly that's about as much as I can do just fly up in the air right now sometimes I can go a bit forward but I can get some nice height uh, this would be great on maps like nucleus you can just like uh, rocket jump your way across the map as pyro and places where pyros just usually wouldn't be you'll find them and it really is cool really does help you play pyro better and um, it really does improve, like, your skill level as Pyro. Because, you know, that's quite scary, just seeing a Pyro fly up in the air and then falling back down behind you. But um, that's pretty much all you have to do. Just play around on this. Um, just Google if you don't know how to install the map. Because it is quite self-explanatory. Because there is two custom maps that we'll be using. And I'm going to I'm gonna jump over onto the next clip here. Um, it's basically... A jump map. If you played on rocket jump map servers, then it's basically that, but um, it's for Pyro. It really is fun, and I'll show you it, so let's just transition on over to that now. Alright guys, and we're back. We are now on Jump Pyro Stock. I'll leave a link to this map in the description bar as well, 
but basically what this map is is the jump pirate map so there are five different bots on the opposing team and all you have to do is use their rockets to uh, rocket jump your way across the map five different levels really fun really cool to do um, you can air blast the rockets back to the soldier if you really want there is actually a soldier in there now the worst thing about this is the map isn't exactly the most well designed and it's not very popular so the best thing you want to do is go into your console type in sv underscore cheats one and then do hurt me minus nine 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 and what this is going to do is it's going to give you a lot of health and overheal and you're going to be able to use this uh, so you're not going to be taking as much damage so that was the first jump i guess i'll just go through this entire map uh, that one's just quite self-explanatory if you can uh, rocket jump sufficiently then you should be able to do this as well quite well there you go just jumping up here this one i find to be quite difficult because uh, of this little gappy area but it's sort of easy but difficult at the same time you sort of have to run towards the rocket and use that to propel yourself across see if i can do it there we go and uh last level here um this one is just strafing round and it is really fun that's all the levels but i mean you co go back around and you can do it over and over again whoops put that back in there you can just do this over and over again and it really is fun it does help you practice and then you can jump onto like an ordinary server try that out try jumping across maps with this honestly pyro jumping is useful i really do recommend if you can't do it already take some time to practice and learn um it can help you get to places where usually the pyro shouldn't be and it can cause so much havoc that it is quite entertaining anyway mine has been hidden i thank you all so much for watching if you want to see more of these team fortune 2 tutorials then be sure to tell me um sometimes they can be like how to do something or maybe i can start doing like how to install custom hoods i don't know whatever you guys really want um i'm up for doing it as you can see this jump can be slightly difficult sometimes but um yeah so anyway mine has been hidden i guess i'll just play to the end of this map again I mean, you've already seen all the levels so that's fine but i've done that one uh so yeah mine has been hidden as i've already said thank you all so much for watching be sure to leave your feedback in the comment section below like subscribe tell me if this did actually help you i'd like to know uh how many people i've helped to uh, pyro rocket jump because you know I, I like pyro rocket jumping just the idea of using a rocket that's supposed to kill you against the soldier I find that fun but um, let's go uh, okay that was difficult on maybe not <laughs> this is just like when I try play on a rocket jump map where I just fail a few times it's brilliant but uh, there it goes thank you all so much for watching my name's been Hayden and I'll see you all in the next one